Hi, my name is Eli, and I'm the Director of Engineering for CodeCov at Sentry. Over the last 10 years, CodeCov has evolved from a Python code coverage tool to a code coverage solution for any tech stack. However, quality software requires more than code coverage. And today, we'll show you some of the next big problems we're solving at CodeCov to help improve your overall software quality. To introduce our first new feature, JavaScript Bundle Analysis, I'll turn it over to Nick Deshaies, who was responsible for bringing it to life. Hi, I'm Nick, a software engineer working on CodeCov here at Sentry. Today, I'll be walking you through all the hard work we have put into our JavaScript bundle analysis project. First, web application frontends are becoming more and more complex, and with that complexity comes increased size, performance issues, and frustrating experiences for your users. JavaScript bundle analysis is the go-to method for avoiding these problems, because developers need to keep bundle sizes in check and prevent long load times and bad user experience. There aren't many tools out there to help though, so we went ahead and made one. Since CodeGov is heavily integrated with your Git workloads, we brought the bundle analysis experience to our commit and pull request reports. Now, not only can you understand if your bundle size is increasing, you can find the precise commit and pull request that introduced the increase. Here's an example of an updated pull request. You can see that if the project is also uploading code coverage, bundle information and code coverage are shown side by side. This lets you understand how well tested your contribution is as well as its impacts to the JavaScript bundle all in one screen. Focusing on the bundle reports section of this page, we can see that the PR is increasing the size of our JavaScript bundles by 237 kilobytes. If we're curious to see why, we can expand this view to see the size change in individual bundles in our repo. In this case, our example rollup app bundle increased by over 237 kilobytes. This change gives us a signal into what the largest contributor to the increase happens to be and it can tell us where to look next if we're wanting to reduce bundle size in this PR. With bundle analysis, you will be able to view and explore information about your bundles through our new bundles tab in the CodeCub UI. We give you a simple summary of the size of your bundle. Information such as total size, gzip size, and download time help you understand how much bundle size may be impacting your user experience. You can also dive into individual bundle assets using the table below. This table displays the sizes and load times of each individual asset and helps you rapidly determine if any problematically large assets exist in your bundle that could be negatively impacting the performance of your web application. You can also expand any asset to see the various dependencies that may belong to each one, giving you an incredibly fine-grained view that can be used to pinpoint and resolve specific problem areas. We are also updating our PR comment to bring the bundle information straight to your Git provider, so there's no need to leave the pull request experience to understand how a code change impacts your bundle size. Here is an example of a PR comment showing that the change increased bundle size. In addition to the PR comment soon, we will be adding status checks for bundle analysis. This will enable teams to block PRs with large bundle size changes. So how does it work? Well, we wanted this integration to be dead simple and familiar to JavaScript developers. So we've taken a new ecosystem friendly approach to integrating CodeCub with your JavaScript project. To use bundle analysis, users can opt for a bundler plugin setup with current support for Rollup, Veep, and Webpack. To get started, all you need to do is install one of the plugins as a dev dependency, configure it in your bundler, make a commit, and build. The plugin will collect bundle stats information automatically and upload the information directly to CodeCub for you. Much like code coverage, bundle analysis can help you diagnose problems before they hit production. So instead of reacting to usability issues experienced by end users, you can ensure that your users never encounter those issues in the first place. Bundle analysis is available right now to use, and we'll be continuing to make this feature better and better over time. If you use bundle analysis and have feedback, you can, as always, let us know by opening an issue on our feedback repository on GitHub. Hi, I'm Rohan, a product manager on the CodeCube team here at Sentry. Even though we're building features beyond code coverage, like bundle analysis, we're still laser focused on making the testing experience better for developers everywhere. Our customers have reported their CI builds take longer because of test failures and flakes, and this takes time away from shipping features to customers. That's why CodeCurve is building Test Analytics. This feature provides essential data on test runtimes, failure rates, and helps identify flaky tests, so you spend less time waiting on CI and more time building things that matter. Today, I'm really excited to share our progress in this area. Developers everywhere know that trying to parse CI logs to understand why your test failed is frustrating and time consuming. Well, we feel it's so much easier to just surface that in a PR, so we did that. Getting this PR view is really easy. Simply have your test runner 
output test results into a JUnit XML format and upload it to CodeCov. We'll take care of the rest. Test result reporting from CodeCov is available now for all CodeCov users. This is just the beginning. We're also building a way to help developers remove flakes from their CI. By leveraging test result data and looking at failures over time, we are well positioned to help detect possible flakes and open issues to ensure that these flakes are properly addressed. We're currently heads down building flaky test detection and we'll share our progress as we go. Reporting on test failures and test flakes are just two ways in which we can help speed up code review and help developers ship changes faster. However, we are also looking at other ways to ensure code reviews are quick, comprehensive, and meaningfully speed up your development. And to that end, I'll turn it back over to Eli to discuss CodeCov's most future-looking new feature, AI-powered code review. Code review is a huge part of getting code merged and deployed safely. However, code review takes time. Waiting for that first review to come in can feel eternal. And when it does, you often find that much of the review focuses on straightforward issues that hide more complex problems that require more additional reviews to be caught. The whole process leads to unnecessarily long review cycles. What if we could use AI to help speed up code review? Well, in a collaboration with Century's AI ML team, CodeCov is doing just that by introducing AI-powered code review. Think of this as your PR first pass, a bot that can instantly review your PR and make suggestions that catch more straightforward problems so expert human reviewers can focus on the more complex parts of the code change. This minimizes the number of human review cycles required and reduces the time your PR has spent waiting for that first review. AI code review can help ensure that new features and fixes are making it to your end users as quickly and as safely as possible. AI code review is still in active development, and we expect to release it into open beta in Q2 of 2024. Despite starting as a code coverage tool, it should be clear now that CodeCov is thinking well beyond code coverage. This shift is intentional. While Sentry is an industry leader in helping developers fix their code after it is released, few comprehensive solutions exist to help developers before their code is released. It is our goal to create the world's first developer-centric platform that provides full visibility into your software as you're writing it, testing it, and reviewing it. CodeCov will continue to be the best code coverage solution, but we're excited to solve more pain points for software developers in a way that is uniquely CodeCov. And what we've shown you today is just the beginning.